Welcome to the Pentagon, Minister. It's good to meet you again. Uh, after seeing each other, I think it was last at the NATO Georgia conference uh, in Brussels in February, and your deputy, uh, Chikovani, uh, we were together in, I think, Kia was yes. the last time you and I were together, plus many times in Brussels as well. Uh, but I would just say it's good to have you here. Uh, always good to see your nation's representatives, Mr. Minister and Ambassador Excellency. Thank you for attending as well. You're always welcome here. Uh, we meet this week as our two countries prepare for celebratory feasts uh, next Thursday. St. George's Day in Georgia and Thanksgiving here in America, and I wish your nation a very happy holiday in honor of your patron saint who is immortalized as a defender of the Georgian people. And this year marks the 25th anniversary of our diplomatic ties between Georgia and the United States, and 2018 will mark the 10th anniversary of the Bucharest Pledge that Georgia will one day become a NATO member. Our countries have stood by one another in friendship and solidarity uh, since Georgia chose to join the community of democratic nations a quarter century ago. This year also marks the 10th anniversary of the Russian-Georgian War. As Vice President Pence said during his visit to Tbilisi this summer, America stands with Georgia. This commitment is underpinned by our nation's shared values of sovereignty, territorial integrity, and respect for the rules-based international order. Minister Azoria, your Prime Minister's affirmation to stand with us in Afghanistan until the last U.S. soldier leaves is a powerful and deeply appreciated signal of our nation's friendship and the strategic partnership. <clears throat> and we recognize your nation as the largest per capita and non-NATO force contributor to the mission with 871 troops continuously deployed, and in that sense, Georgia is an example for all. Mm -hmm. We do honor the 32 Georgian soldiers who have paid the ultimate sacrifice in pursuit of this cause, and your wounded, many of whom have suffered grievous injuries in our fight against terrorism. As we look to the future, the U.S. strongly supports Georgia's devotion to strengthening and modernizing its military capabilities at 2.2% of GDP dedicated to defense spending. This shows your commitment to your own defense. Your military reforms are very well tuned to significantly improve the Georgian military's increasing effectiveness, and we endorse them. Minister and members of the delegation I look forward to discussing our efforts to work together here today. Thank you for making the trip. It's good to see you all and you're most welcome. Minister, if you'd like to make some remarks in front of the press, please feel free. Dear Secretary, thank you for the warm welcome. I'm very pleased and honored to be here with you. Mm -hmm. First of all, allow me to express appreciation for your political and practical support. Your personal engagement and dedication has been remarkable. People and government of Georgia attach huge importance for the strategic partnership with the United States. Georgia is a capable and reliable partner to the US, which represents a model of democracy in the region, always mm -hmm. ready to fight along the US, promoting stability and security around the globe. Currently, as you mentioned, 870 military servicemen and women serves carried free other different commands across mm -hmm. Afghanistan, and we will continue to do so as long as our strategic partner deems it necessary. We highly appreciate the U.S. increased military support. We attach huge significance to the Georgian Defense Readiness Program, which will start next year and will increase our resilience and military capabilities mm -hmm. and readiness of Georgian armed forces. So thank you for such excellent cooperation again. Absolutely. Thank you, uh, Minister and Lady Selwyn. Thank you very much. What message are you sending North Korea by parking three carriers on their coast? Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>